I want to say just two things. One is that this is not just an Aboriginal problem. One of my earliest memories as a child was, uh, I don't know how old I was, must have been less than five, but my brother sprawled across a kitchen chair with his head covered in blood after my old man and hit him on the head with a jug. And my old man, he didn't have much of an education, he didn't get to high school, started working when he was 13. He had nine kids and he lost his daughter. One of his daughters died. He went crazy and he never got better. Then I came up here and uh, married a Warburi woman. My old father-in-law, he was born in the desert. Uh, he spent his childhood out there in the desert. Didn't ever know white fellas for all that time. He lost five sons before he died. He had the daughter taken away from him. But he didn't go crazy like my old man did. He was stronger than my father, my white father. The message I want to get out to all you mob is that this is not just an Aboriginal problem. We got this problem too, and we need to help each other. Now, there's two young women whose faces are in front of my eyes now as I talk to you. Two young Warby women. One of them's out in the jail out there. She's doing uh, time for manslaughter. Her boyfriend, husband, whatever you want to call him, he was jealousing her, she said. So she defended herself in the way that she thought would work best with a knife. So now she's doing manslaughter out there. Now that young woman, she's got the face of an angel and she's got the brains. Well, if Julia Gillard could be Prime Minister, so she, was, she could too. She could have been anything. And now she's out there in that jail. The other one's in the cemetery there. Now the one in the cemetery, she's my granddaughter and little sister, uh, Warrabri Way. I stood at a grave not long ago and I, I promised her that I wouldn't let her be forgotten. You see, we forget these young ones, our grandkids and our children we bury, we forget. Too many people don't want to talk about it because it brings back the pain and I understand that. I'm feeling pain now. But if we don't talk about it, it won't stop. So I promised her I would not let the world forget her. And today, what made me so bloody proud, I've been waiting for this day for 30 years, what made me so proud is I knew, always knew, that Buckfellas could stand up and say, this is our problem, we're going to fix it. I knew that would happen one day, and today it happened. Today, all you mob remembered that young woman out there in that grave, and all the other ones out there in graves, all around Central Australia, all around Northern Territory, the ones we love. So this is not just about Aboriginal people, this is about everybody who's got a family and loves that family. And I tell you, us white fellas, we have to give you all the support we possibly can, you Aboriginal men and your families. We will support you and give our life's blood to make this happen. Thank you.